the last half hour or so applying your makeup. It only takes a few seconds after stepping outside for it to start melting off. So how do you look fresh and protect your skin in triple digit weather? Welcome Christy Harris with Christy Harris Beauty Playground with some summertime tips. Hello there. Hello. Hello. All right. Um, one great summer tip that you gave. I had never heard this before in all my years of doing, you know, uh, segments with, with, with makeup artists. Um, is about in the summertime, especially the water-based makeup. We oh, all think yeah. we're supposed to wear water-based makeup oh, no. all the time. Well, w women think if they wear oil-based, it's going to clog their pores. But <laughs> what they don't realize is it's not going to go into their pores. So it's too large of a molecule. And a water-based makeup, as soon as you put it on, the water evaporates, and all you have left on your skin are pigments. And then wonder why it doesn't stay on all day. It's like putting powder on and it just coming off. Which I don't like mineral makeup or powder either because it can really streak. Yeah, yeah, and especially if you sweat on top of that. Yes, and you sweat. So you've got to have a non-reflective uh, formulation that where your tears and your sweat and all just rolls off and you still have that dewy pretty look. Yeah. And you lock in your moisture during the day. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. because if you're not locking in your moisture with some type of oil, then you're going to get oily and then you're just going to have clogged pores. All right. Uh, speaking of locking in moisture, uh, the other thing we want to do is block out certain rays from the exactly. sun. So um, you have, you suggest wearing makeup that has like an SPF in it. Well, Yes. Or if you have but makeup that blocks one of the, the One of the things that I think is important, a lot of women are sensitive to, yeah, to sub, sunscreens. And then you don't know, should I have a 15 or 20 or 30? The one thing that you really want to look for is titanium dioxide in a foundation. I do a non-reflective foundation, which number one, bounces the light off, but it's also a sun block because titanium and zinc really does you know, block out those rays. Okay. And um, you've, you've got to protect the skin. That's the most aging thing in the world. Right. Of course, course if you didn't protect your skin, we have a uh, question from uh, one of our folks here. He has a question for you about how to camouflage, if you will. I always get a sunburn during the summertime. Is there any way to cover it up? Christy, can you help me? Wants well, to cover up to the cover, sunburn. It's, it's hard to cover it up. Um, because you're burned, yeah, you know, and what you need to do is, is always protect the skin, putting on your moisture lotion so that it hydrates your skin, and then lock it in. We do a second skin, and it's just, it's literally like a second skin on your face, but it also is a sunscreen. Uh -huh. So it's a tinted foundation, primer, pore refiner, the whole thing. Yeah, in fact, uh, some of our folks in the audience right now have that second oh, skin they do. on, and they're rubbing it on Rub right all that there. over, all over your, yes, that's cool. That yeah. You're doing that and feel. Does it feel different? It's it feels amazing, like silk, right? Yeah. yeah. It feels like silk. Or velvet. Yeah. Or velvet. Oh, some good descriptions. Now, now here. look at the difference in your hands, though. Can you tell a difference? Like, put them together. Yeah. Can you show us in the camera? It smooths out the skin, so that's your sunscreen. That is your, you know, it gives you, you know, it locks in your moisture. It gives you a little tint. It's so simple. All right. Another thing that's simple is that we sometimes in the summertime want to simplify our makeup. Right. And in doing that, we don't, you know, focus on so many things. You can just focus on the things that make a big impact. You are the eyebrow queen. Okay. <laughs> I'm the freak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the eyebrow freak. We have our uh, audience volunteer oh. here. And so um, you, what you did is kind of shaped up one of her eyebrows. Because it does frame the eye and make a big difference. It really does. And uh, most of, you know, the women will say, well, I have sparse brows or I don't have a tail or, you know, you can't help me. And or I go and I'm at the mercy of somebody and they'll mess me up. If you look at her, this is her before and this is her after. So she has a great, um, you know, brow. Yeah, look into the camera and see. She has a full brow already. And mm -hmm. we certainly don't want to make her thinner. But the most important thing is you want twins, not sisters. <laughs> so... So, you know, the only way that you can get uh, twins is you've got to mark your shape. You have to have a vision of what you're going to do before you ever remove the hair. And I'm, I'm, I marked her places with the measurement. And in fact, if you go on uh, my website, I've got a lot of great tutorials because I'm really big into teaching women how to eliminate their frustrations yeah. with, with goof-proof, you know, things that will help you do it. But as I, I'm doing here is I'm lining, I'm making her a brow map. Basically, and then where you're not, when you don't have hair. Now she does have hair, but let's say if she was really sparse, and and most of us are right in this area. I'm putting a a, a product called Adabrow. It's almost like hair in a can, <laughs> and um, it fills in those sparse areas, and you don't look like mommy dearest. You know, it doesn't yeah, look and really. Yeah, like, like hair in a can. It's almost like little fibers. It is. It's fibers with cream. It's a cream with fibers. But now what I'm going to do next. In fact, she needs a little bit of trimming. And how many times do you see? Uh, you know, shears that are designed that are rounded and then they cut you a, 
you know, a, a, a sparse area. These are designed to where they really cut on the plane so you don't mess up. And then this is called a planer. Yeah. This is. Chris, uh, I'm going to back up for a second because you would rather plane than pluck. Absolutely. And a lot of us pluck. They, absolutely. Because when you uh, tweeze or wax or thread, you're pulling your hair out by the root and it will never come back. It may come back. It may take one time or 50, but sooner or later it won't come back. And many young women are walking around with no brows. Yeah. And, and why you is know? it that when you pluck the, the hairs on your chin, they come back every time? Well, because you can credit that to your hormones. Okay. Yeah. But you know what? All you have to do is make sure no one's watching and go like this. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> because you right. can. You can use this all over your face. You don't have to wax. Watch this. You would never be able to get this precise line yeah. with and tweezing. Look with at that. Your planing tool, what's so cool about that is that it's not like even using a straight edge razor, which I know some no. people have done that before. This gives it, it's a lot more forgiving, but it gets, gets the hairs. I worked on this three years, and you can literally, and you can, can't you feel and hear mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. before you ever remove it? So it's not like a razor to where you think, oh, you know, there goes my brow. Yeah, you end up cutting but yourself. But look how too. simple that is. Isn't and you lifted simple? up that arch. And, and it was so quick. And you don't have to pay to have it done. You're not at the risk of, you know, the mercy of somebody that will mess you up for life. Yeah. And the cool thing about this, too, Christy, is that, uh, like many of us, genetics is a whole bit. So she has somewhat of a hooded, uh, like, mm -hmm. eyelid there. Mm -hmm. And so by lifting the eyebrow, you lifted you totally, all of that. You can, yeah. You can totally, when, when you do your makeup accordingly to, you know, I call pretty makeup. Mm -hmm. I like to do pretty makeup to highlight and contour the face. It is amazing. Women just don't know what they don't know that can make them more beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It's really true. And you know, you, there's no such thing as an unattractive woman or child, just someone who hasn't been trained. And I think that's why women are so frustrated. All right. Christy, our eyebrow volunteer, Jennifer, is getting a free makeup lesson at the Christy Harris Beauty Playground that's located in Highland Village. And for those of you in TV land, you can get in on the deal too. Post your summer beauty tip and you could also win a free makeup lesson. And who knows, we might invite you on to Great Day to share it with our viewers. Find us on Facebook, search Great Day Houston, and to schedule your brow planning or to find out more about the services Christy offers, log on to ChristyHarris.com or you could also call her at 713-877-1645, 713 877 -1645. 45. All right, and then we also have, how many of you would like to maybe get yourself a little, little uh, makeup lesson too? Well, April, April Long, Loney, April, if your name is April, April, this makeup lesson is for you. All right. Coming up, from historic airplane rides to fun in the sun, Galveston Island has a lot to offer for Father's Day and all summer long for that matter. We'll give you a few ideas when we come back.